The space race is going to its most dramatic stages as in recent days, Russia and India respectively have launched their lunar projects. On the other side of the world, in the U.S., activities are also very active, especially over at SpaceX, which witnessed many notable activities and missions with Starship, Falcon 9, and Starlink. However, another giant in this field, Blue Origin, seems to be quite discreet compared to its competitors, even though they also have big plans in the future. Fortunately, in the last few days, we got a couple valuable images inside Blue Origin's facilities. In particular, we also witnessed that NASA officially visited Blue Origin's factory. So, what's going on behind the doors of Blue Origin? Is Blue Origin secretly making some surprising preparations for their upcoming comeback? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. It can be said that winning a $3.4 billion contract from NASA is one of Blue Origin's outstanding successes this year. After this success, most think that this will be the time when Blue Origin takes all the spotlight in the aerospace industry with significant upgrades and activities to complete the preparation before the deadline set by NASA. But the reality isn't so. The information about Blue Origin's activities is quite a few. It's only in the last few days that we've gotten some rare info and images about them, mainly related to the New Glenn and BE-4 engine. New Glenn, Blue Origin's orbital vehicle, has been in development for many years. However, it's never been launched due to some delays. Surprisingly, in the last few days, Blue Origin shared a few images of New Glenn. These images were taken inside Blue Origin's factory at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. In these images, we can see rings, interstage components, and propellant tank domes on the factory floor. With these parts placed at the factory, we can speculate that Blue Origin may be testing or stacking soon. Besides the above components, we can also see that there are a few tank segments, especially the largest one on the right side of the image. The image doesn't show us the entire prototype, so we can't predict what role it'll play in the future. So, we'll probably have to wait for more complete images and updates. Most recently, we also saw a few other views of Blue Origin's factory from NASA's delegation. This team, led by Administrator Bill Nelson, visited the Blue Origin factory. But like the Blue Origin photos, these images don't show much of New Glenn's project. Although the images don't give us much specific project in the status of New Glenn, this visit's really meaningful, showing us NASA's interest in the New Glenn project. Moreover, accompanying these images, Bill Nelson also stated that New Glenn is an essential element of their Blue Moon human landing system architecture. Through the accompanying positive tweet as well as the previous images shared by Blue Origin, we can predict that the New Glenn project has been developing as expected by Blue Origin and NASA. If everything goes as planned, the first New Glenn orbital flight could launch next year. Blue Origin will give a lot of expectations on this flight. New Glenn will have a height of about 98 meters, able to lift off about 14 tons of payload to GTO and about 50 tons to LEO. These statistics are much higher than SpaceX's Falcon 9, the rocket that's been launched into orbit the most today. If Blue Origin can succeed with New Glenn, they'll be able to break the dominance of many years of Falcon 9. But whether they can do this or not, we still need to wait until at least next year. Blue Origin's next notable activity relates to the BE-4 engine. As we know, the BE-4 engine will be used on ULA's Vulcan Centaur launch vehicle under a contract between the two organizations signed back in 2014. After this explosion, information or pictures about BE-4 are very few. But last week, Tori Bruno, CEO of ULA, posted several photos of a visit to Blue Origin's BE-4 manufacturing plant on Twitter. In these images, Tori Bruno and ULA Vice President Dan Coffrin stand next to the images, which seem to be completed. According to Bruno, the purpose of this visit was to check the BE-4 production ramp-up. Over two months ago, ULA reported the successful testing of two BE-4 engines under the Vulcan Centaur. However, in late June, an engine explosion occurred at Blue Origin's West Texas facility. The explosion destroyed the engine as well as severely damaged the facilities in the test area. Nevertheless, Blue Origin says the only problem is with the engine and not the entire BE-4 series. Tori Bruno also said that this is a common occurrence at the beginning period of production and this engine explosion isn't expected to impact their CERT-1 mission. He said ULA expects to launch the Vulcan Centaur in the fourth quarter of this year, before the end of the year. Thereby, we can predict that Blue Origin's accelerating production of the BE-4 to meet the launch schedule of the Vulcan Centaur slated for later this year as Tori Bruno's speech as well as subsequent missions that could be very busy next year. In addition, they'll have to supply engines for their new Glenn, which is expected to have a tight launch schedule if their first orbital launch is successful. Besides the new Glenn and BE-4 engine, Blue Origin also seems to be looking to restart the new Shepard system. In their most recent flight on September 12th last year, 
their vehicle experienced an engine failure, causing the mission to fail. Since then, Blue Origin's not operated any other new Shepard flights. However, from a few months ago, Blue Origin seems to want to relaunch New Shepard. In Bob Smith's speech, the CEO of Blue Origin said that Blue Origin has preparations to relaunch New Shepard with its 24th mission, and they're just waiting for FAA approval. But honestly, even if Blue Origin can achieve these goals as their plan, it's still difficult for them to beat out SpaceX, especially when we look at SpaceX's recent strong activities, as well as their crazy achievements. Contrary to Blue Origin's discreteness, SpaceX is showing the world their significant strides. Since the first orbital test, with the claim of making more than a thousand upgrades, SpaceX is accelerating the upgrade and testing activities to be ready for the second orbital test flight. Earlier this month, SpaceX conducted a static fire test with a Booster 9. Next, B9 was returned to the production site to add a hot staging. Compared to the previous launch, hot staging is a notable change that SpaceX made for the next flight. Images of Booster 9 with hot staging have appeared in many newspapers and social media. In the latest update, B9 with a hot staging has returned to OLM for the next test. This shows that Starship is very ready for the next orbital test flight. But before we get to witness that miracle, we'll have a few appetizers with the Falcon 9 and Starlink systems. Although many people think that New Glenn will break Falcon 9's dominance if it succeeds, Falcon 9 has a launch record that New Glenn will take a long time to achieve. It's launched nearly 250 times into orbit, more than any other vehicle in this field. Moreover, the Starlink launch on Falcon 9 on August 22nd marked its 100th launch mission on this vehicle. This is an admirable achievement of SpaceX when the Starlink system has only been around since 2019, which is just about four years. We'll see another achievement with Falcon 9 on August 25th. Falcon 9 will carry a crew of four NASA astronauts and 100 kilograms of cargo to the ISS in the Crew-7 mission. This will be SpaceX's second crewed mission to the ISS this year. In general, SpaceX is making very strong and very clear strides with its missions. With Blue Origin, their activities in general are still very secretive and discreet. We don't know what's going to happen in the future, but when we look at the competition between Blue Origin and SpaceX, which is often described as the competition between the tortoise and the hare, we still see that it's difficult for the tortoise to catch up to the hare. But whatever the result, they're also contributing to the development of the U.S. aerospace industry in particular and the world in general. What do you think about SpaceX and Blue Origin's activities? Can Blue Origin make a grand comeback to beat SpaceX? Or will SpaceX continue to keep their leading position? Leave a comment below in the comment section. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Once again, please let us know what you think in the comments below. Your feedback's very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.